Well, despite the fact that it's dim this morning and whatnot, we haven't. These fires suck. <laughs> Morning, morning. We're going down the other stairs because that one thing, oh, network connectivity? Oh, because you disconnected from Wi-Fi. Is because... Arisa! Yeah. When you do that grin, you look concerned. Yeah, that's, I'm not, that's why I don't necessarily grin much is because people have a lot of like words and opinions about the way I smile. And I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna like not really smile that much because everyone's like, that looks creepy. You look concerned. Are you pissed off at something? I'm like, why are you guys reading too much into my smile? Sorry, what? Not so much your smile as your eyes. All right. Well, again, I'm not necessarily adept in the whole like showing off my emotions and being anything less than completely manly and concerned and serious the entire time, but I guess I'm just not very good at theater. That's probably why I sucked at it. Oh, Kathy yeah. posted. Mira emerges from the bedroom. Good morning, sunshine. <sighs> That'll do. Yeah? Did you read my comment? I do not hiss that one of those mornings. Not the fact that Mira would hiss at me. It's that Kathy would hiss at me. <laughs> Kathy's probably like, I did used to hiss at him. And she wears it as a badge of pride. That's probably why she's like, oh, she's doing it to me now. All right. Since Willie's season is getting underway and school has started, he doesn't have like early morning practices or anything because the kiddies are in school. So his game is at Tigard tomorrow. So we'll see. Yeah, JV's on Thursday. Uh. Because everyone cares about Friday night lights and the varsity. And I understand that if, if Willie was coaching varsity, I'd be talking a whole shit ton about varsity right now. Or if I had a young person who was in varsity and I could go watch the game, I'd be talking a hell of a lot about varsity. Yeah. Right now, my best friend is a coach for JV and they're like, oh, high school sports are starting tomorrow night. I'm like, high school sports are starting tonight because JV are still high schoolers. Even Willie's like, yeah, these kids are like, some of these kids are actually like juniors. They're just not necessarily great because they picked up football in their junior year and they're not great at football and they'll probably be on varsity next year, but they've already been in high school for three years and are basically being called not high schoolers. Yeah. Because they're not in varsity. That's the way the world works. Unless you're at the top dog, you are bullshit. You know, people are like, oh, I gotta get into a D1 college. You do realize how many people from D2 and D3 do actually go into the NFL. Because they're just good enough, they may not have gotten the ability to pay for said Stanford or whatnot. You know? Yeah. And maybe they went through JUCO because they're not rich. They didn't get necessarily a good scholarship. Not everyone gets an athletic scholarship. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see Willie a little bit later today and we can go over some stuff. Uh, should probably message him once we get up to the platform. Anything you want to talk about the last couple days? The fires, the smoke, the unbearable heat in the apartment that's causing us to sleep like five hours a night? Yeah, that. I was actually noticing how really nice it is outside, aside from the whole air quality. And yeah, it looks like a September, I mean, it looks like, it looks like a fall, spring morning, except the fact that it's 61 degrees and I'm in shorts and a tank top. Yeah. Because it's going to be hotter today. Is it going to get today? 88. Which I think the smoke, bless it, is probably one holding in a lot of heat, so we didn't get down too cold last night. It's also preventing a lot because it's basically acting like clouds. Slowpoke, what are you doing? Why are you so away from water? You want to try to hit that train? I think I heard one coming. It may have come from the other direction. Oh. Uh, Shouldn't be an issue. I, like I said, I thought I heard one coming, but I wasn't sure. I was just thinking, it really says something that 88 is today's high, and I thought, oh, that's not too bad. So, one of the additions to the most recent thing of uh, Pokemon is there's a zero and a person. Well, there's a um, participant counter on the raids now so that when I get, if I get, if I get to an area and I'm like right now inside in my car and there's people inside a restaurant or something queuing for the raid, I can say, oh, look, there's like actually three people doing this. I'm going to do this raid. Not sit here and be like, oh, I don't want to do this raid because I might be the only person and then yeah. wait two minutes for a group that's never going to happen. Plus, it'll also make it easier for other people to see that you're queued for it. That too. I'm usually a bit more cautious with queuing, but well, that and usually the places we go and sit down don't have gyms. <laughs> yeah, I did just hear my train ring its bell at least. At the other train station because it's so quiet out here. It's like that snow quiet. Yeah. Kind of surprised that it's 
not muffling at all. It is. I, my voice echoes. That's true. And I know where my voice echoes. True. Anyway. Bye. See guys, that's a train that came in. Not, you know, a car. I mean, it's a train car, but it's certainly not our car. Hi, so it's the inside of the car. I'm going out to do stuff with Nick and Willie. Uh, it's still cloudy outside. So, yeah, this is, we didn't get the wireless charging. I thought that might have charged the phone, but it's just too weak of a USB to charge our phones. Uh, at least this thing has cup holders now. Uh -huh. um, you know, there's P, R, and D, B. The drive mode, power mode, eco mode, normal mode. EV, I figured out I use when you do, um, when you're driving around in a parking lot. But yeah. Audio, no, no, back, source, FM. You're watching. So, I haven't set the stations, but I probably need to go through and actually set them. Um, I'll probably do that when I get to Willie's house. But yeah, like, these little things, beep, energy monitor, eco diary. Like, I drove 14.4 miles yesterday for an average MPG of 50, almost 55 miles per gallon. That's eco savings. We haven't filled up yet, so we can't put in a fuel cost. Um, drive monitor, average speed, 10 miles an hour, elapsed time. That's after reset. That's 2 minutes, 13 seconds? Whatever. But then it's like, the air conditioning... Do I just want it in the front? Oops. Still getting used to this stuff. That. Driver priority. Everybody. Driver priority. Everybody. Yeah. It's got a back button too. Look at that. Back. Back. So, it's got lane departure warning. I think this is lane departure. This also might be like radio guided cruise control, which basically means that I just get a car in like this area and then I, I set the cruise control and it'll like modify my speed based on the car in front of me. So I don't have to like slow down in case the person slows down. I haven't tested that one out and I'll probably should before any long road trips that we have to do. But yeah, the interior is Very, very black on the inside. Very black. Not gonna show a lot of stains. But there's my bag. There's some water under there. Because it's smoky. This thing's complaining that I don't have my seatbelt on. It's very safety conscious. Should probably also... I mean, the lights are fairly cool. And then, but bam Oh, that just turned... So oh, there's no secondary light. But I am. Okay. Because, like, before, like, this, is this pretty bright? No. I literally have, like, not driven this much, so I don't know. But, yeah, with car, it's like, there's, there's that trip information. That's how much I was getting per, you know, every, every minute. So, I like the fact that it goes up to 150 miles per gallon. That's awesome. Um, energy. Past record, yeah. Setup, display, vehicle, vehicle customization, door lock set. What the? Door lock settings. Oh, door lock by speed. Y yes. Door unlock by shift. Oh. oh my god, I gotta, like, I have options on my car, bros. 
But anyways, so, also, holy crap, I got a lot to do with on this car. Huh? What is that? I got the information back, and apparently I will be working with Sisu. Um, I need to hammer some things out, but the subscriber contest race to the 5,000 by Halloween, I know it sucks you get a mouthpiece way after the fact, but this mouthpiece seems like it'll be good, especially if you get it and then you can form it and have it great for the next year, or if you're going into high school and they don't require you to have it attached or whatnot. So, it looks like it'll be mouth guards. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, I need to head out and go pick up Willie, get down some linebacker stuff in, and yeah. So, again, 5,000 Halloween. If it happens sooner, we'll do it sooner, and I will figure out, I need to figure out a little bit of contest, because like, I don't know when this will happen, but if 5,000 subscribers, we're at 3,500 now, we got 1,500 more to go, and two months to do it. That's, graphs look like it'll happen by Halloween, but if it happens sooner, you guys can get Sisu mouth guards. You know, not everybody will get it. Um, I'm working with them on their email, but they're working with me. So, I'll have more information in the next couple days. I'll probably do another announcement for Friday on a football video, but share these videos around. Get your friends to subscribe. Have them say hi. You know, if your friends like football, have them at least watch the Friday videos. I understand Trek Tuesday is Trek Tuesday, and that's geeky as I'll get out, but I need to get geeky out at some point. So that's that. Uh, it's 10:18. I gotta go, and I will check you guys tomorrow.